What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to another banger. As you can see, it's a banger. This is something y'all been waiting for for a very long time. We about to just jump straight into it because I'm low-key trying to get it done before the sun goes down so I can get people's reaction. But in today's video, as y'all seen from the last video, I told y'all, like I gave y'all a sneak peek of what's going on. So I'm about to go ahead and unbox it. This is Loring Springs by Abachi. They not sponsoring me, but I, I didn't even reach out to them to sponsor them. But like I said, this is some mother Loring Springs. Y'all can hear all the metal in there. But let's go ahead and unbox it. Let me grab my knife. It is sunny out. I'm in a good mood and I just did two videos in one day. So let's go ahead and open these springs up real quick. Make sure y'all hit that like button, hit that sub button. We about to just jump straight into it. Come on, open up, cuz. Oh yeah, y'all see what's going on. I believe these is the back ones. This is gonna make my car sit so much better, bro. This is gonna be my first time also buying lowering springs and doing lowering springs and putting them on. I was told that you're supposed to get these for the front springs because if you don't, then they're gonna shoot up and hit you in your face and you're gonna die of a concussion and yeah, yeah. I end up buying that so we can do that. We got all four jack stands. We left my scat on tires. <laughs> looking bad as long as it's not them rims you know we already scratched one we don't want to scratch no more so we put our old rims up under here so we can have jack stands so that's my nigga rig jack stands but let's jump straight into it let's bring our springs over here show y'all in the light come on baby okay i believe these are the front springs these are the back springs it's gonna tell us on the diagram but we about to start by lifting up the car we're gonna lift it all the way up and we're gonna take the springs out the back first we're gonna put the new springs in in the back and then we're gonna move on to the front because the front is the hardest so let's just get into it i'm doing all this talking i just need to hurry up and do it so i got more time <laughs> We got the car jacked up on all four jack stands. Now, I think we should take off the back two wheels. All right, y'all, I took the wheel off and look at my tire, y'all. Oh, fuck. Bro, what brand is this? Continental. I don't ever remember Continental doing this. Y'all let me know what this means when chunks of tires come out. I think it means that a bad ground surface or something. I took the wheel off. We about to install our first lowering spring. So first, we're gonna wanna go ahead and drop this part of the cradle. So give me one second. I gotta see what it is. Looks to be probably a 15 right here. And then like an 18 nut on the back. Let's go ahead and drop this down. So we need a 15 and then we need an 18 wrench. Cuz, who got my jack stands? Brick. Oh! I don't. Cap. Yes, you do. You got my orange ones. I got two jack stands. Gotcha, bitch. Anyways, let's get up on there. Take these off. Yep. It's an 18 mil. You went to and this right here. Yeah, I already did. Oh my God. Maybe we need an impact. Oh my God. And the impact doesn't fit back here. So, we're going to need a swivel. Okay. We're going through a lot right now trying to get this to work. All right. We got the 15 with the swivel on it. Let's see if this works. Maybe I gotta put a jack right here so it don't just yank down, y'all. Let's go ahead and be safe and put a jack right here. Oh my, this is so difficult to get an angle on it. This would be 10 times easier on a hoist. All right, y'all, I'm currently trying to get this boat out. So I'm gonna get it, y'all, when this boat is out and this is dropped down. Six hours later. All right, y'all, I finally got it up. Well, my bad, not up. I got it, finally got it down. Gotta, we gotta clearly pull this down some more to be able to yank out the spring. So let's try it. This bolt that was in there was super long, bro. It was giving me a hard time. Okay, oh, hey. I gotta take the strut off too, my nigga. You gotta leave the back of it up here. We finally got this spring out after a very long time. Let's see if that's the directions on there. That's the only thing you got, nigga. Ooh, that shit trash, bro. It don't even tell you. Hold on. It literally don't tell you which ways it goes in. Like, does this go upwards or downwards? Like, low key, it goes like this. We got to go based off the, the logo. So it probably goes up. You feel what I'm saying? That makes sense, right? You stupid n***a. 
don't understand this shit, like, Yeah, I don't understand it, bro. Understand. I think it goes in like this. We just gonna put it, it in like black, this. Bro. I don't like reading it. I don't like I reading don't either, bro. Word, <laughs> you feel me? We're just gonna see what it do with what it is. Man, what? We gonna see if we hit a bump and it comes out and shit. Fuck it. When I tell you this is harder than I thought it was, bro, I was in here struggling hard as hell. But somehow we got to get this top piece off and put it on here. So let's go ahead and pry this off real quick. It's going by like glue or something. It should be in spot with the, the logo right side up. Right side up, that means it's good. That's yeah, the right side up, whatever the right side up means, that's where Nigga, I don't know what right side up means. <laughs> I think right side up that's is the way saying. I have it. The spring should be installed right side up. I think that's how I got it. But why is this? What does right side up mean? Nigga, right side up is like this with the abachi sign right here. Uh, abachi. Right like that. Yeah, right side up with all the everything facing the correct way. Why is this not coming off? Bro? But yeah, it's like stuck on, bro. So is it glue on there? I don't know. It's like glue or something. Finally. Right side up. All right, y'all, we got it. Now we got to go ahead and put it on top of here. Right side. So maybe they talk about right, which is out, outwards. Side is up. <laughs> Just put it on with the logo to face the towards up. That's the best way to do uh, it. Yeah, because it say right side up. It's shit, I mean, what the fuck that supposed to mean? It's, they need to show more than explain it. Nobody, you don't understand this shit. We black. We barely graduated from school. <laughs> they was some bullshit with this. All right, y'all, I'm about to go ahead and install this new Abachi spring. I'm pretty sure this is gonna be just as hard as taking it out. I'm gonna set y'all up and hopefully I don't spaz out, so. Oh, this lower, lower, boy, damn. Go ahead and tighten these cradle bolts back up because we have to do a whole bunch of BS. So now what we're gonna do is, hey Fred, can you come over here and like just record me putting the shock back in? Make sure that's in place. <laughs> we about to get this hibachi screen in, screen, screen. That thing, this thing got rice lower than free. Damn, this be for this shit right here. This is gonna right. Damn. Look how high your, uh, what you call it already. Oh my god. Hey, hurry up, nigga. Damn, I'm gonna see you. Still got three more to go. Yeah, yeah, we got it in. Did you put the what's the name on there? What? Oh, okay. How hard was that to do? It wasn't that hard. He just he just ain't know what he was doing. Hey bro, you ain't either like I mean I'm sorry, I'll be honest though. You didn't No, it's not lining back up, bro. I told you not to take off that boat. Bro, I should have never took this. Alright, look. Well you didn't have to take Okay, look. So can somebody jack can you jack this up while I try to line it up? See how I look? That's yeah. probably exactly how they go it's in. Fire, nigga. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you know how to do these? Yeah. Oh, you know I'm no. Nigga, I just told him how to do it, nigga. You put time on before too? Yeah. It's really not hard. Frey said, we, "I just need help with the back, and you need that tool right there for the front." <laughs> do that shit again. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> That nigga's tripping. All right, y'all. We got this spring in. As you can see, you can see that little red behind it. But this one's in. We put the wheel back on. Now we're going to move to the other side, which we find a new way, which is lowering the shock, taking all these bolts out right here, these two bolts. And then we want to go ahead and lower the front, well, the back cradle. Drop it a little bit with the 18 millimeters. I'm about to show y'all right now. You need to make sure that the car is jacked up from the diff so it doesn't fall down. Take out these shock bolts. Let's lower the cradle. Alright. Oh no, Frey. You gotta lower it. You more, gotta man. lower it. The uh the jack? Yeah. Oh and I gotta lower this part. Yeah, it's looking bad. Oh! So you gotta take out the other boat. How was you able to do that? Mine is like oh, fell right down after I took off that. And the no, uh cradle. My whole cradle was falling down. Is both down. sides loosened up? Nope. Do I need both sides loosened? Oh, you uh, that side is holding this side up now. Oh. You might as well put the jack on the diff and drop that. It, it's on the diff, ain't it? Then I have to realign it and all that extra stuff. Then don't drop it. Don't drop it all the way down, bro. All right, so undo that. Just leave it on that right, bitch. I'm about to undo this side, bitch. It's a whole cradle. You can't loosen one side up and the whole one side going to drop Shut it. Shut the f***. 
Bro, I can't even see that. Why you never drop these fucking headlights off? Bro, why are you talking so damn much, bro? Oh! Why you ain't drop this off, bro? Why is he talking like that, bro? Bro, I'm oh. frustrated, bro. I hate when it's too much going on when I'm working on cars. That's why I work by myself. There's nothing going on. We just sitting in the background, bro. bro. We trying to help you out. Bro, he said. He said, yo. Watch your <laughs> Alright now, you ain't gotta kick me now. I ain't do shit to you, nigga. You gotta damn it take him all the way out on this side. They damn near is all the way out on this side. Okay, he ain't try it. I'm just saying, he might as well just take it all the way out. Just keep it in there. Just take it all the way out. Just put Let that bitch drop, bro. He trying to keep the boat. Yeah, man. Like, bro. I'm not trying to realign that You're shit. not gonna have no to, more, bro. bro. It's, it's sitting on a, what you call it? No, he gonna have to realign that bitch. Sure. I ain't really have to do shit. But jack that bitch right back up and put that boat back in there. Bro, you barely, you barely, nah, you, you gotta lower that bitch, nigga. This is lowered. Ain't gonna lie, that, that's probably what it is, yo, fueling it. No, it's not, because it don't got no tension on it. So, did you take the boats out on the other side? I didn't take them out. Just take all that shit out. Bro, bro. what the fuck? What the fuck is he doing? Bro, I loosened it, nigga, shut the fuck up. Nigga, nigga, take all y'all, nigga, damn. I'm gonna smash this. Just take it all the way out, bro. Let me do on one side, do on the other, nigga. Nigga, all four. Or out now. Lower it slowly with the jack. It should start loosening up. There you go. There I go. Keep going, nigga. Nigga. Oh! The fuck you mean? What you got hooked up to this? See if you could pry it out. Probably can. Bro, it needs to be lowered just a little bit more. The thing is, it's out. It's just like. That's the boot. It's the boot. Oh, yeah! Yes. Find a fucking lead. Pull it straight up. Oh, yeah! Yes! 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 Let's go. fucking hate this shit. Nobody better not ever ask me to do this for them. It's really the, the boot and glue on it. That's the only reason why they not coming straight out. Because when I did that, mine came straight out. Yes. I jack that back up all the way into it. can't jack up no more. What, watch your, uh, your, uh, what you call it? Oh, shit. That was a headache, girl. Bro, you just making it seem like a headache, bro. See, now you good. Now shut up, nigga. Who you talking to? Now, shut up. I'ma really do that to you. Cry with your ugly ass, yeah, nigga. Cry, baby. Yeah, nigga. He was a big light skin. That's that light skin. Oh yeah. Now lift your cradle up. Uh. And then put the bolts in. Then you're good. You won't have to line it back up. <laughs> Dummy. I got a line. I got. I got a lot of curve back there. I got time for all that bullshit. Bro, I gotta line the cradle back up, bro. Goofy ass guy got it. Was that was that hard? Hey, man. Nigga. Was hey. that hard? Right now he's putting the other cradle bolt in because he's not telling y'all what he's doing. You just go because you really do gotta line this shit back up. You didn't jack it up like I told you to. So you won't have to do so much fing line, you idiot. You about to just align this, so I'm gonna get back at y'all when all this is complete and we move on to the front. All right, you two, we got the back springs on. We're done with the back finally. Now we're moving on to the front. So, first, since we got a hail kizzy, we're gonna have to go ahead and undo this. Wanna undo this one too? Now we gotta go ahead and take this off. Oops, don't break it. I'm gonna grab a 13 mil, get the undoing the strut. But first, before we undo the strut, let's go ahead and take the strut off from down here, which is gonna be a 21, I think. Let me see. This is a 21 right here. Let's see if that fit. Yep, a 21 exact. Let's try to take this off real quick. And of course, so you're gonna need a 10 millimeter and then a 22 wrench. All right, y'all, finally, we got the sway bar link disconnected. We need an 18 millimeter so we can take out the strut from right here. God damn. All right, so since we got that done, oh my God, it's getting dark out here, y'all. No! I failed you guys. I couldn't get it done in time. As you can see, we loosen that up. Now, what we want to do is we want to grab a 13 and get to undoing these, and then we'll be all set. 
how the strut is completely out, y'all. Make sure y'all don't lose these nuts. These nuts. <laughs> As you can see, we got that all disconnected. We can go ahead and somehow take this out. Oh all right, y'all. We got the strut off. <laughs> Frank said I almost killed myself, so we. So we gotta go over here. We can open up this box. All right, y'all. So we got this tool right here. I guess it's supposed to decompress the spring. So what we're gonna wanna do is go ahead and press that, lock it in with this pin. Same with this side, somehow. After I do that, hit it with a power tool. This is my first time using some shit like this, man. I feel like the gadget, man. One gotta go on each side. I seen, I seen them go on each side. Get the hell this shit. Make sure that bitch not pointed towards me. I'm scared as hell. <laughs> Look at you scared. And now I just hit it with a gun. Nah, I do too. Put the other one on. Decompressing it a little bit. You see how that shit would have shot up? Ooh, you would have been. <laughs> Level out both sides. That was compressed like a motherfucker. Nah, I'm trying to. taking all of this. Trying to tell you, but well, you would have killed yourself trying to do that. Watch your fingers. Bro, this is dead as hell. Do you got an impact? <laughs> trying to take it off? Hell yeah, nigga, it's not. It's compressed. It's decompressed. Yes. Leave that. Point it that way. Let me get the. Because <laughs> <laughs> the D is not working good again. It's gonna shoot the. Bro, this battery is dead, bro. Oh my god. Oh, you want to get another? Man, I ain't gonna lie, we're not even gonna be able to see the springs today, bro. <laughs> All right, y'all, it's the next morning. Like, I didn't even brush my teeth. Wah. I didn't wash my ass. Wah. I didn't do anything. Like, I just threw on the same clothes as yesterday, and I'm back into the video. Brother, ugh. We about to go ahead and resume everything that we were supposed to do yesterday, but it got too dark. So let's get into it. We got the spring right here already compressed. I went to Harbor Freight before I started the video, and I caught me some more tools. Y'all need to grab this wrench set because there's literally no way you can get into here without one of these. So let's go ahead and see how this works yeah this one fits y'all all right perfect now let's go ahead and take this off grab the impact this is the part me and Frey was scared of y'all oh my god bro no fuck bro there's no way that shit just snapped off that easy bro i'm an idiot why did i even do that bro i just broke my strut i have some other struts but that's such an inconvenience i swear to god it's always something bro why did i use that big ass impact for that i'm an idiot all right, y'all, I was able to take the strut out, as you can see. Well, not take the strut out, but undo that bolt. I had to use the smaller impact, I guess. More power is harder for it to come off. I'm not sure how that works, but thank God that he blessed us and let us, you feel me, take this off. See, boom, we got that off. Got the springs off. Woo look at that, you shot it. Yeah, man, All right, now we're gonna go ahead and take one of these springs. Let's see how we're supposed to do it. A bocce. So you want to just go ahead and slap that hole right in here, just like that. Make sure that bit all the way like that, and then slap this bit back on there. All right, now we gotta compress it, so we need to take off this one. We got the strut in. Why does my calibers look white as hell? Now we're gonna wanna grab a 10 mil and a 21 wrench back here to tighten up the sway bar link. But then we need the 18 with the swivel on it to tighten up this. And then we're gonna be all set with this side and then we're about to move on to the last side and then we're gonna drop this thing, bro. I can't wait to see it, bro. Everybody was here yesterday to see what it was gonna look like, but sadly we couldn't get it done. It was too dark, so I called it quits. So let's go ahead and tighten everything up and I'm gonna hit y'all up and we on the other side. All right, y'all, we down to our very last spring till this car is gonna be slammed to the ground. I'm excited. Y'all let me know down in the comments if y'all excited too. Before we even get into the video, before we even finish the video, make sure you hit that like button. Comment down below. Is y'all ready for this? Is y'all ready for this fast life game? 
there's three cameras on my phone. I don't know which one I'm looking at, but is you ready, nigga? So we get our 18 millimeter. is out now this is the part where we get in the garage and we get the sauce and the spring up hey slime turn that we got it yo changing springs not that bad you just got to know what you're doing i didn't know what i was doing this is my first time it's y'all first time too trial and error you know This spring is nice and on there now. As you can see, make sure it's lined up. Yep, they're lined up. Now we're about to go ahead and install it, bro. I'm so excited, I'm not gonna lie. Let's get to it. All right, y'all. They're finally complete. Now we just gotta put the wheel on. I'm excited, y'all. Oh my God. <laughs> God, it bitch sit way better, y'all. It's not too low and it's not too high. It's perfect, literally perfect. <laughs> Damn, now this bitch not sitting up like a monster truck no more. Like, look at the front. Front gotta be the biggest difference for sure. Damn, you can't stick your whole hand in that bit like you can the other ones. The back one good. Oh my God, this sits so good. Sorry if I'm not energetic, y'all. I just woke up, I'm tired, and we still got to work. This bitch look way better, y'all. Hell yeah. Now all we missing is a front splitter and a wrap. Wrap coming this week. I'm low-key about to drop it off today for a wrap. So y'all stay tuned for that video. I am about to probably drive around and see how it feels. Actually, I am gonna drive around and see how it feels. Let me go ahead and put these tools away. I'm gonna get at y'all when we cold start in the car. All right, y'all, I'm about to get y'all cold start right quick before we take it on the test drive. I hope the check engine light is gone. I doubt it though. <laughs> Check engine light is still on. Yo, I can low-key tell the difference from even sitting in the car. Like, I feel like I'm in some real low shit. I forgot I had this drink still in here from yesterday. All right, y'all, we testing the springs right now. It feels good. They said that it's supposed to feel like you always in track. We just gonna see if that theory is true. Oh, shoot, I feel my strut loose. A sway bar link or something. Let me turn back around and fix that. You hear that? Yeah, something's loose. I didn't tighten something. No. Oh. Eventually. All right, y'all, I fixed it. Come to find out I didn't have the sway bar link tightened down all the way. It was tight, but it wasn't tightened all the way. And so every time I hit a bump, it was just like rubbing up against the shock. Got that fixed. I do need a wheel alignment on this car, then I'll be 100% green. We on the way to Bobby to get his reaction on the lowering springs because he was one of the main people saying that my car sit up like a monster truck. We're gonna pull up on him and get his reaction. Let me get a slight little pull real quick. It makes noise when I hit the brakes, but I think that's just because it was raining last night. I can't tell what that is. I'm not gonna lie. I just sat there and listened to it. I can't tell what that is. Like everything's tight though, especially on this side because I made sure of it. It sounds like it's on this side. It don't sound like it's on that side. It just went over that bump smooth as hell. I'm about to give y'all some pulls when we get near Bobby house. Like I'm in track mode the whole time. Loki, I'm in sport mode. Damn, okay. That was our first big bump we just hit. Eh? It was nice. It went over pretty smooth. It was no scraping. It was none of that. Let me put it in auto. Let's see what it does in auto. My car does have adapted suspension, so it goes over stuff pretty smooth. Yeah, y'all, it feels nice. Ain't too bad, but I think I got an exhaust leak from them uh, mid pipes, so I gotta tighten the bolts a little bit more. I'm 
telling y'all, this car about to be so crazy, bro. Today, I'm about to be dropping my car off to get it wrapped. So y'all got to stay tuned for that video. Hit that like button, hit that sub button. Maybe not. Ah. <laughs> if you haven't already, hit that notification bell. I want to slide with the springs on, see if it slide any better. better doing pulls it feel more like it ain't in the air my nigga let's see if i do the pat pat if i do the pat pat when i pat pat it's not that bad it literally doesn't like go up as much because the suspension is lower when it wasn't lowered my nigga it looked like my was about to pop a wheelie it was a big wheel gap you can stick damn near two fists in there when i do the pat pat is the semi gonna get over like why is he white lining right now he's just on the white line is you gonna get over or what he don't have his blinker on okay yeah see i can tell the difference yeah hell yeah all right let's pat pat again <laughs> bro i ain't gonna lie this gonna feel way better bro you probably feel better taking off from a light too I feel like it's look more aggressive, feels more aggressive. Oh, let's throw it in sport mode. Oh yeah, that feels 10 times better doing that. Let's not hit no bumps, because we're gonna f something up. Oh yeah, y'all heard that. I feel all of that. I guess that's the down play about the springs is feeling shit like that. Alright, down shit. Alright, let's put it in track mode. See how that does. In auto it feels like it's in track. So let's see what track actually feels like. Oh god damn. I think it's because the ground was unleveled. It almost looked like my was about to spin out. It feel more stable now since it's set lower. Like I don't know how to explain it, y'all. I would recommend lowering y'all cars, though. I heard, like, this is a bocce. Some people, I don't know even if I'm saying that right, a bocce. A bo I heard that a bot be too low. It'd be bad reviews on them because it'd be too low. But it's actually right for me. It's not that bad for me. I was already on wide body suspension because the donor car that I had was a wide body red eye. I don't know if that makes a difference with the sway bar links and stuff like that. I'm not sure. But here we go. We about to go over a train track. Hold on, hold on. Oh, oh yeah. We not doing that. We not going fast over them. I can already tell. I heard that H&R was like super low to where people like it's all type of bad reviews on H&R. I'm not sure. I don't know. So I can't tell y'all. But I would say lower y'all car for sure. It'll give it a more aggressive look. This car, I was not liking it because it was sitting so high. But I also liked it because then I can just fly over bumps. No problem. All right, y'all. Let's see how much lower it is since it's like hanging out the driveway. Let's see how me and Bobby's is because he on slim body. I'm on lowering spring so boom i can barely stick a finger in here because it scrapes my finger and let's go to his oh yeah oh yeah yes we lowered it hey, this is hard bro oh my god 10 out of 10 for right now until i run into problems but it's 10 out of 10 for sure then lower the cat now we about to go ahead and wrap it and everything damn it's windy as hell y'all hold on calm down mother nature calm down brother my back tires now look at his back tires yeah, it's a big difference, bro. What up? That bitch said nice, ain't it? He closing his eyes. This is what you've been asking for, Shotty. That shit sit lower than my shit. Man, what? You see the difference? And then stick your God, fingers in yours and in mine's. Finger both of them. What do you mean by that? You feel me? You can stick two fingers in it, ho. Same with the back. Looking right now. Look again. Oh! This is the third video. Bro, chill out, bro. All right, y'all. We going down a bad road right now, so this is gonna give it its. Oh my god! It actually 
actually goes over these bumps pretty well, bro. This is a terrible road, but it's actually doing good. I feel like it depends adaptive suspension or not. I think that gives it a smoother ride. I'm not sure. I gotta do my research. I don't know much about shit like that. I just know how to put stuff on and <laughs> take stuff apart. I'm not very educated. I just know what certain stuff does. That road, it was smooth. It's damn near smoother than the regular springs. I'd be running with the old springs. Yeah, I was right, y'all. Like, I'm literally cruising at 40 miles per hour right now. It feels like I'm in track mode. Like, it's kind of... Why can't I speak? I'm cruising right now, and it feels like I'm in track mode. Everything seems to be bumpy. That's what it comes with it. You want your car to look nice, sit low to the ground, you gotta deal with the problems, buddy. Sorry to break it to you, but that's just what you gotta do. All right, y'all, let's play around with the car a little bit more. Put it in track mode again. <laughs> track mode oh my god all bouncing this <coughs> oh shoot look at that u-haul it's about to bust open <coughs> oh, hell no let's get from behind there we don't want that happening to us imagine a toilet come flying out that bitch. these lowering springs make my car sound like it's ragged because it feels every single bump and you can hear every bit of plastic rattle if it don't have a boat in it oh here go a bump oh oh and hey, we still going over that shit like it's wide body nigga. No, the police right there. Oh no. Oh, damn. Look at the police right there. Oh no. They not on nothing though. Damn. Damn. Yo, these bumps is literally making my jump. And I don't even got like bro. Chill out, bro. Motherfucker got the muscles like going crazy right now. These motherfuckers jumping on me. Oh my god, a bump. Look, look. Oh my god, let's smoke. Oh, oh yeah, it's over. I ain't gonna lie, these springs make it look 10 times better. I can already feel every single bump, nigga. Every single bump. Man, what? I ain't gonna lie, this look mean as Damn, this is way lower. Back here, crazy. What's up, Terry? You gotta get 315s now. 315s? This bitch look crazy. Like crazy what, what with 315s? Yeah, These 255s on the back. Yeah, okay, you be 35, yeah. 315s only come 35 sideways. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be because you know how people be saying it's too low, yeah, but it's not that bad. What brand is this? No, they're the hibachi ones. You gotta get low as hell to get in this bitch. Man, what? It's like damn near you sitting in the Z01 or some. Bro, we my bad, my bad. We don't shit, man. My bad. But one out of 10, though, y'all. Springs. That bitch yeah, yeah. 10. Yeah. Like a new car. Bro, I was literally, I took a picture of them. I side by side with the old ones. And bro, I'm about to take them on a the ride and shit. I lift my tripod and buff fix, but it's cool though. Springs is a 10. But clean your goddamn car. <laughs> bro, I don't be driving this car, bro. <laughs> Alright. Damn. Oh, damn. You yeah, you can definitely feel the way more. 100%. So it's technically not wide body suspension? Nope. It's slim body, but a little bit lower. I'm about to go through some blocks real quick. No, hell no. <laughs> I think the real issue is here. It's time for some headers. For some headers? It's time for some headers. Bro. That's going to be later on. We're going step by step, bro. Damn. It feel planted. When you do the little pat pat shit, it literally is, feels good. It don't feel like it's damn much. So no, it don't. That's the good thing. Like when it was on wide body suspension, it, it felt like it was damn near about to lift off the ground. Look, I'm about to do it. I'm about to do a dig. I do too, but I'm not trying to go to the city though. Just to speed bumps over here? Where? I've never seen no speed bumps in this area. It's gonna scrape hard as hell for sure, because oh it was already God. scraping off a of Y body. Y'all, I'm about to get tie reaction to the. Look at his Brembo's, y'all. This is why y'all gotta get ceramic pads. Look at my car. You notice the difference? It's lower. That's fire. Uh, Damn. Yeah. Damn. Stick your fingers in it. No homo. <laughs> you. 
Yep. Damn. And then this side, you can only stick damn near one. Two hours later. All right, y'all. So we at this spot. We about to go ahead and test the car while it's sliding with the lowering springs on. I'm about to see if it feels any better. Yes. Yes. Let's do it. Hey, record for YouTube. Ask him, is it 4K60? Is it 4K60? All right. Hey, we need to jump right there. Three, two, one. <laughs> 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 Hey, I'm about to figure eight. Oh! 
chill, bro. Like, bro, this nigga on this nigga on child, bro. So he just told me pick a corner, slide a corner. So pick this corner. Yeah, it's the smoothest one. What? Man, what? Lace. How I'm laced? Chill, bro. I'm sliding right here. What? Pops was just loud as <laughs> I don't know. Damn. 